In this video, we're going to use the HP 10B2 financial calculator to walk through some net present value calculations. This is a continuation of our four part capital budgeting series. This is part three, calculating net present value. Previous parts, we've calculated the payback period and the internal rate of return for our projects A and projects B that we've got here. So let's go ahead and grab our 10B2 financial calculator. And remember, anytime you're dealing with an uneven cash flow stream, first thing you want to do is clear out the cash flows. So first thing we're going to do is turn our calculator on because right now it's not on. So we've got to go ahead and pop that on. And then we want to clear it out. So shift clear all. One period per year. And again, I mentioned this in the second video, but if you didn't see it, very critical that you make sure these are set to one period per year on here. If you previously did a problem that's semi-annual or monthly or weekly using your five key, with the HP 10B2 financial calculator, that five key periods per year is going to be the same as used in your cash flow worksheet. So make sure that's at one period per year. Now it's set up, we want to start entering the cash flows. Start with our CF0. Note that is a negative cash flow. Make sure in your calculator you set it up as negative or you're going to get the wrong answer. So we start with our 200,000. Make it negative. And then press our CFJ. Go down to our next cash flow, 120,000. 120,000. CFJ. And now remember all our cash flows are only received once. That means our frequency, our N sub J, is just going to be 1. Since that's the default value on this financial calculator, we can ignore it. It's already assuming one, or one cash flow per sequence. So we'll go straight to our next cash flow of 90,000. Put that into our CFJ. Next 50,000. CFJ. 40,000 CFJ and lastly 30,000 CFJ. Now all our cash flows are entered. The next thing we need to do is give it our discount rate. Sometimes I'll see students forget this step and then they're not really giving me the net present value. They're just adding up these cash flows. Got to put in the discount rate. So that's going to be plugged in in our I slash YR, same as we've used with the five key approach. So that's 12%, just 12. Make sure it's not a decimal, it's not 0.12, it's 12%. So 12, press your I slash Y. Now your discount rate is entered. Next thing you need to do is solve for NPV. That's a shift function. So you've got to go down here and press the shift, NPV. And there's your answer, $56,922.85. Go ahead and write that down. $56,922.85. And remember, net present value is calculating a dollar value. So we go ahead and put a dollar sign in front of that. It's not a percent. It's not a time. It's a dollar value. Now we can go ahead to Project B. Again, let's go ahead and clear out our calculator. Shift, clear all. Start with our initial cash flow of negative 400,000. 400,000, negative CFJ. 40,000, CFJ. Again, frequencies are all one, so we don't have to worry about the N sub J. 60,000 CFJ 120,000 CFJ 240,000 CFJ 340,000 CFJ. All our cash flows are entered. Now we have to go to that discount rate, 12%. Put 
So 12 I slash YR shift NPV and we get a net present value of $114,409.02. Go ahead and write that down. $114,409.02. Again, let's quick look at the interpretation. What do we want to do if these projects are independent? Independent means we can take project A or project B, or we can do both A and B, or we can do neither one. Net present value says if the project adds value, we want to take it. Taking this project increases our shareholder wealth by almost $57,000, so take A. Taking this project increases our shareholder wealth by $114,000, so take B. If they're independent, both projects are good, we want to take them both. How about if they're mutually exclusive? With mutually exclusive, we now need to choose the best project. If we take A, then B is off limits. We can't take it anymore. If we take B, then A is off limits. We can't do both now. If they're mutually exclusive, we have to choose the best project. Well, the best project is the one that adds the most to shareholder wealth. So if they're mutually exclusive, we want to take project B. This should give you a good overview of how to use your HP 10B2 financial calculator to calculate net present value.